ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, May the 26th, Memorial Day. And it looks like it's going to be a hot one. Here's the Skycam image from the Compass Bank building in downtown Birmingham. A few clouds across the sky as we've had thunderstorms off to the northwest. A little bit of debris up there in the sky. We can see a few clouds, high clouds it looks like, from Chiha looking off to the west. And I just can't help but put in a bridge shot. And we've got so many of them on the Skycam network. Here's one of Selma and the Alabama River certainly looking rather placid this morning. High pressure at the surface has uh, been mo nosing across uh, Alabama, and we saw a little bit of a temperature gradient uh, with a little bit of a wedge, not a really strong one, but Atlanta, I think, only got to about 79 or 80 for a high yesterday. And at 500 millibars, we're under a big upper ridge with a bit of uh, disturbances moving through the flow, uh, riding over the top of the ridge. That is uh, resulting in rather warm weather for much of the eastern uh, two-thirds, or pardon me, the eastern half of the country uh, with a lot of 60s and 70s. Across central Alabama, uh, we're generally in the upper 60s and lower 70s this morning uh, with a little bit of fog in a few spots, but not nearly as widespread as we saw on Saturday. QPF looks like the main threat is going to stay, for rain at least, is going to stay a little bit to our north and to the northwest across the uh, central plain states with a bullseye of six inches up there. Of course, they're dealing with a lot of severe weather. And it looks like most of our precipitation, by the way, will be in the form of showers over the next uh, few days. Speaking of severe weather, a uh, slight risk extends all the way from New York and Pennsylvania all the way down to West Texas. That area shrinks a bit. And boy, I, I'm sure those folks can use a break uh, on day two. We don't have any day three, that is, there is no area outlook for severe weather. And on day four and five, the uh, severe weather shifts back into the northern central plains area. So certainly has been active time for those folks up there, and it looks like it's going to stay that way. Here's the 06Z GFS model run for this morning, and here is the Monday afternoon, about 1 o'clock, 500 millibar pattern, and indeed the uh, ridge is holding tough, and because of that, I, th I think we'll stay dry. Now, the GFS is forecasting the possibility of some showers, and I guess you can't rule out an isolated shower in the heat of the day, but I really believe uh, the greatest threat will be uh, west of I-65 and probably actually over in Mississippi. Uh, we see a front coming our way, coming through the Ohio River Valley on Tuesday, and that should help to uh, give us a little better chance for rain. And especially by Wednesday, as the front nears the area, uh, kind of comes through the Ohio River Valley and uh, gets close to the Tennessee River Valley. 500 millibar pattern, uh, we're certainly showing uh, trough on the east coast and uh, still a ridge affecting us. Uh, nosing across the Gulf Coast there, and that means the front will take its time uh, going through the state on Thursday, and uh, that could mean just slightly drier air, and of course the GFS is forecasting that by Friday. And then by Saturday, uh, we see a rather long, uh, elongated ridge across the southern tier of the United States with a fairly sharp little trough coming through the central plains, uh, and that producing a surface low. But notice the nervousness down there uh, between the Yucatan and Cuba. And indeed, uh, the GFS is picking up on something, has been picking up on something down there. And here's the trough by uh, Sunday, midday, over the Great Lakes. And with that, of course, a little surface low coming uh, across the Great Lakes and a front, uh, looks like a fairly weak front, dragging across the area. But notice, uh, once again, the GFS got something down there in the Gulf of Mexico. This is June 1st, and on June uh, 2nd, we see that showing up on the 500 millibar pattern with the trough uh, over the eastern Great Lakes. And with that, uh, looks to be a 1,000 millibar low uh, coming across the southern Gulf of Mexico. And uh, extending that surface pattern out to Tuesday, the GFS is now back on a track. Now, we're getting onto the edge of voodoo land here, folks, okay? But the GFS back on the track of possibly bringing it across the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Real quick look out into the voodoo land. Uh, that trough finally gets off the east coast by the 6th, and that surface low that we were watching moves up uh, through the Carolinas. 
So things are going to be interesting. And, of course, the GFS, just love the GFS, always giving us something to talk about. Well, I appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one. We're on a one-a-day uh, schedule, and I expect to have the next one by 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Have a great Memorial Day, and God bless. Thank you.